Now, two high-speed chases, two stolen cars, and a suspect in handcuffs. That's what happened in Wake and Durham counties today. WRO's Julian Grace is live in Cary and has more on the suspects, the injuries, and the charges in both cases. Julian? Gerald, it was very easy for investigators to spot the latest suspect because he was traveling at high speeds right down I-40 just after rush hour. This is the aftermath of teenagers traveling at high speeds going down I-40 in an Elantra. Wake County deputies were in pursuit. That's when the driver lost control and crashed into a tree. The driver and all four teenagers were transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And all of this happened while the exit ramp on Carytown Boulevard was blocked for more than two and a half hours. And then in Durham, a simple seatbelt violation quickly turned into something so much bigger. Around 12.28 in the afternoon, a state highway trooper tried to stop a driver in a Chrysler Pacifica for not wearing a seatbelt. But when the trooper ran the plate, he found out the vehicle was stolen. That's when things took a wild turn. A multi-county chase ensued, eventually ending in Durham on Anger Avenue. The suspect struck a pickup truck, then ran off the road, slamming into two utility poles at Anger Avenue and Bingham Street. Both the suspect and victim were treated at the scene. Then the driver, 27-year-old Devon Hester Jr., was arrested and now faces a slew of charges, including felony assault with a deadly weapon. Now, as you look at both of those scenes, one thing that stands out that is very remarkable is that no one was seriously injured. For now, reporting live in Cary, Julian Grace, WRL News.